Welcome back guys, it is your boy Demonic DJ playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc We just met the headmaster Monokuma I interrupted some of his talking, I'm sorry but uh, I'm getting a little long of video so we're going to continue off where we left off <coughs> And to protect such splendid hope you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. I'm changing up everything about his voice because I can't do the voice that I would normally use for him. So I'm just going to change him up to like random different types of voice. <coughs> huh? Now then, regarding the end of this end date of this communal life. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What? What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. <coughs> oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't want to lack all. The, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. <coughs> That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm not a liar. Of that, you can be a hundred percent sure. Uh -huh. And just for your information, you are completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these wells ever again. Cut off. So all the metal plates all over the school. Oh my demon bars. They were to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. Good job, Makoto. No matter how much you m may scream, yell or scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come, on. come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if, if the score or whatever is, whoever else is behind it all, this is just a really bad joke. Down yeah, down. cut this shit out, it ain't funny no more. You keep saying this is a lie, or this, or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of ya. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it. You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entry ceremony is even finished, you're already deciding you want to leave. Hey, um... Uh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <coughs> really? Actually... As headmaster, I've created a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. now then, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. But if someone were to disrupt that harmony, and they were, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation Clause. What? what do you mean, disrupt the harmony? <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Well, you know, if one person were to commit, were to murder another, m murder, yes, stabbing, strangling, lodging, crushing, hacking, drowning, and knighting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. That is, it is as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> Boo! I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? 
Like I said before, you guys are the helps of the world. You but you know. Taking that hope and saying it gets murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is it's To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. <clears throat> we know what it means, it's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop bellbring on him with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. I forgot to start the timer. Blabbering. Blabbering. This episode will be too long. I'm scared now. <coughs> you guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep saying uh, the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want. Kill as you want to kill. So go ahead. Go on. A kill, 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 killing spree. Alright, come on, how long is this joke gonna keep up? Eh? Huh? You, know? <coughs> you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. <coughs> reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, cause I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hero aside, Mono placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole. This has gone way too far. What kind of hell a joke is? What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a bitch! <laughs> and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuna, flashing straight like as a bullet. He locked onto his target. You little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! <gasps> you're cussing in my Christian Minecraft server, Mondo. Uh, you have been removed. Hey, damn it! What, no smart ass comebacks this time? Piece of shit. Stop being a goddamn baby! Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it! Huh? huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stoned him in the silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did. What the hell? That sure as shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up. <clears throat> there was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real, in real life. I'd never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. <laughs> There's another one! Damn you me. son of a bitch! You really tried to kill me just now. Of well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. The regulations. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. <laughs> Hey, this doesn't mean where there's like a, a bunch of you around or something, right? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all around the school, yes. Eight plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you got to breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even a punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. 
This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So natural, we call it <coughs> the e handbook. Um, yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, you'll display it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now then, this is not your everyday notebook. It has many more uses than that. It is also completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact worth up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sheep. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same will apply here, which is why it's crucial we have a strict punishments in place for any violators. Okay, well that brings our interest ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary high school life. And see ya. <coughs> and with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how do you find what we just experienced? How, how, why? I don't understand any of this. We, we have to live here forever? Or kill? What? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice one is that we stay here and living a communal life together till the day we die. The other choice, Indeed. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's but killing someone, that's... <laughs> We were inducted out of nowhere and stuffed into pla a placement to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is... This is just... Ridiculous. A lie. It is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. It's all gotta be fake. Right now it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... Is there any of you who'd seriously considered all of this? To that, nobody had a response. Everyone, keeping quiet to myself, I looked around at the others. Burn -dun -dun. Burn -dun -dun. The music is amazing. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could taste the hostility. Almost. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules of Monokuma I had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us had become suspicious of everyone else. We were forced into wondering, is someone going to betray us? <coughs> and that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. Dead. We beat the game, guys. Oh my god. 15 surviving students. So yeah, if you haven't guessed already, this is a game about moida. There's a lot of moida happening. Is it replaying the intro? Oh my god. Can you, can you not? Makoto Nayegi. <coughs> Leon Kawada and Sayaka Minzon Oh my god, they're going so fucking fast. Holy shit. You know, I don't like Tugami because he's kind of a dick, but his picture where he's sitting in his throne is quite fabulous. I'm not gonna. Oh my god. 
Such a good boy, man. Man boy. I must protect Makoto Nayegi. Must protect Hope. Hope and despair. <coughs> it's punishment time. We have never done that. Trigger happy havoc. Don gun na 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 rompa na ma na ma na. And dang ganin rompa team. Yeah 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 the present. Uh, would you like to try? Yes, for ways. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna just have three saves. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The hair hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that we that weight. Chapter 1 To Survive Daily Life But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Chipotle? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just stand around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. R right, she's right. Sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However, perhaps. But is that. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. <coughs> Idiot. Look, uh, look for a way out. Duh. And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But, <coughs> but before we do all of that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monica and mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the, what the rules are, something like that might happen again. <coughs> Fuck, it's scary. <laughs> Shit. Alright. So then Fine, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rolls already. She's not happy. Oh, Junko, baby, why are you not happy? Makoto Nayegi. After turning my e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name, just like Monokuma said. The owner's name showed up in front and center, and then from the main menu popped up. I selected the school and I go. Students may reside only within the school, leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. <coughs> An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside around. Right Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 p.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and will be punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the host peak academy at your discretion. Violence against the handbaster Manakuma is strictly pro prohibited, as in destruction of surveillance cameras. <coughs> Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Well, that's cheating. Should have all the rules ready as soon as you start this deck. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, But if he got punished... Um, why did I give him a badass voice? No. But if he got punished, what would, like what we saw before, 
I don't think there's any, there'd be any respawn waiting for him. Yo. <coughs> I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding in this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And? So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? So I can't afford a diet here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but if you are willing to follow the regulations, is but you you are saying you're willing to follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh well, yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. It's saying if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone and without be anyone finding out it was you. <coughs> but, but, but why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules that they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <coughs> don't jab at me. More like a full-on stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's forget all the silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now I'm start. I'm, oh God! I just realized I'm forgetting the voices. Now we know. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about the food and supplies? It's 4 a.m. and I'm forgetting all the rooms. I heard the voices. There are tons of questions we need to answer. Damn straight. Okay then, let's get let's all start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might have already started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it so much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Wh wait, hold on. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it. Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why all of you seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um. But, but. <coughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Such One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick your ass. S stop it, we shouldn't what? fight. The fuck did you just say? You some good... You some kind of goody goody little bitch. You Who you think you are talking to me like that? You think you are my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You fuck bitch. you. Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> he punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, and the next I was soaring through the air. Now I think about it. Maybe I kind of forgot the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My comment said had just popped, stopped functioning, being with around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something that's the surface this. But I just lose track of all the sense of reality. That was my last thought as my caution started to fade before it finally got out to completely. And then I finally opened my eyes again, and what I saw was reddish pink. What? Where the hell am I? Oh, is it very comfortable to my the other day? I woke up in the middle of yet another room, and I haven't seen my work. Okay, so, where am I now? You have access to anything you can use at the same time, you can just play. 
F1 key, ooh. He's um, character I hope the F1 button is like some important button. You can also save and load the game under system data. I hope it doesn't fuck up. Oh, transcript. We're not using transcript. I'm sorry. F1. Oh, okay. Didn't break anything. I didn't know what it says. Mm -hmm. Where's my presents? Wait, how many presents? Oh my god. Regulations. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep. I think there's only seven. Yeah. Report card. Here's me. Name Makoto Nayagi. We're gonna do a background area. Name Makoto Nayagi. Five, five three. Hundred and fifteen pounds. Yeah, his chest apparently is twenty nine inches. Special ability: ultimate lucky student. Unlucky. Ultimate lucky. Unlucky student. Yeah, that's me. That's you, that's your boy. That's your guy. That's your man. That's your boy. <coughs> Name: Ishiranu. Five nine. One hundred and forty six pounds. We're not even gonna worry about the chest. Ultimate more compass. I feel like there was, I thought there was gonna be more. Oh shit. He's six one. Hundred and fifty. Fluent progeny. Six two. Wait. Yeah. Six two. One hundred sixty. Oh, there'd be like more information here. 5'9, 148. 5'7, 342. You heavier than me, big boy. 6'ft, 157. 5'5, 108. 5'6, 106. 5'3, 110. 5'4, 104. <coughs> Six four two hundred and eighteen five five one hundred and one five seven ninety seven pound damn you ninety seven damn four ten ninety and there's me again hey it's you it's your boy this is where I can do all my other things I need to do oh I can show you guys I am bold this is how I'll stop episodes. Well. <coughs> it's a notepad. I guess the school must have given each us one of each one. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I have tools. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Dude, I gotta piss. Let's go to the bathroom. This would be here to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Dude, that plant shadow scared me, bruh. Oh, there's like a paper I was supposed to read on the wall. I don't care. <coughs> so some of the rooms have locks, huh? I guess I wasn't supposed to leave it. I was supposed to read this. On the wall, which says Announcement from Headmaster Madakuma. Each room is locked has, has been designed, designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to open yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the gifts, for the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the boys' vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong ball to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let all and let's all enjoy our lives. I think my voice is starting to go hoarse. <coughs> water. Ugh, just water. Combo the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Wait, girls' bathrooms are locked, boys aren't. But I have the tools. He thinks I'm a transgender. No, I'm kidding. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be the place I sleep. This is my assumed signed dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. 
I was in the video already. So that answers the question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? The only way to find out is, and that's to get out of here. But let me check the door real quick. This is the bathroom? Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Yeah. I rushed out of the room and met up with all the others. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Well, there we go. <coughs> I was gonna, I guess I have to continue playing a little bit. But there was <coughs> someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of old TV show. Wait. Well, she did it for me. Hello there. Oh, Sayaka? God, she's cute. Are you oh, but she's I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip one of them. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I'm actually built I but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Jumping up and down, you say? That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right here, there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto? Makoto? Uh, oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. But thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you would come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to go together later on and talk about what we would each found out. So does it mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead. Meet you at the dining hall then. Great. Let's check out these rooms though. So, here's your boy. Here's your girl. Uh, here's mono, monotone girl. Here's over the top. Here the rule. I, I believe in the rules, man. Here's I'ma break every bone in your body, just punch that dude in the face guy. Here's uh here's I'm better than all y'all, I'm the king boy. Here's uh Supermodel, super pretty woman, lady person there. There's the everyone hates me and I just know it for a fact. Right mystery I'm right love novels, lady. <laughs> There's Mrs. I'm gonna lie to your face and make a gamble that I'm gonna win the race, whatever. There's the please be my friend. There's the I can swim like the best of them. There's the you aren't worthy enough to spar with me, but I'm strong to break stuff, so maybe it's a good thing I don't spar with you. There's the, I hate baseball, I want to be a singer now, but I'm the best at baseball, high school wise. There's the, uh, Claire, I do clairvoyant stuff. Yeah, guy. There's the, <laughs> my 2D anime women are so amazing. <laughs> it's like the stereotypical guy. And then there's, there's my YouTube channel. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, the bathroom. We're doing MTV Monokuma. MTV Kuma. Mono TV. That's the laundry, I guess. The ba the bath's off limits. No, I'm gonna go to the bath. That's the rest of Hope Peak and as the dining hall. And I'm gonna. What was the button for the to the helmet? Yeah. So we can't look at this yet or this yet. 
But don't worry, dude. Truth bullets. I know it looks weird. It's like, what? Truth bullets? What? Don't worry about it. We haven't got that yet. But it's the end of the video. Um. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, it is 4 a.m. So, I'm going to take a break. We didn't get to the juicy parts yet. But that's all right. This is the end. Talk to you later. If you're watching this, I hope you enjoy and uh, bye.